What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically send an email with a hyperlink when the file in the hyperlink has a space in it, one or more spaces in it. So let's get into it. Alright, so um, this question has been asked a few times in one of my hyperlink videos. So people are having an issue when they send an email with a hyperlink if the file or the website the link has a space or more, like one or more spaces, um, it's getting broken up and the whole uh, name isn't getting sent out. So this code here is going to fix that. So let's get uh, into the code and we'll go ahead and call it uh, send hyperlink with spaces and we'll declare our variables. We've got out app as object, out mail as object um, let's do str body string body as a string and then we'll have link which will be our hyperlink and that'll also be a string so let's set out app equal to create object um, and it's going to be the outlook application is what we're opening and then we're going to set out mail equal to out app dot create item and then we've got zero there okay so our link let's set our link equal to this workbook sheets and we're working with sheet one here And then sales one one we'll just type it in here one one and we want the text so let's come up with it let's just put like Google www.google.com well no sorry you want something that has a space in it right so um, let's say your file name is um, Excel file um, 10 two 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 dot xl xs or sx okay so that's our file name and then our str body is going to be equal to body style font let's make the font size 12 no let's do 14 14 and then the font family let's go with Arial and let's keep going to the next line so in order to do that I'm gonna use an ampersand and an underscore and we'll say hello team um, let's do a paragraph break please see the link for today and we'll do a colon and let's go ahead and extend this line again ampersand underscore and we'll do a href equals ampersand our link so this variable here link another ampersand and then we'll do here so this will close our link here and then we'll do another um, paragraph break ampersand underscore and then we'll say best regards and we'll do a regular break Greg okay so the email body is gonna say hello team and then it'll go down and say please see the link for today and it'll say please see the link for today here and then it'll after under, under that it'll say best regards Greg 
and um, so let's keep going with this so on air resume next so with outmail we're going to send it to let's make up something ABC at one two three dot com we're going to CC uh, let's make up something else me at me.com and then we're going to BCC no one and then the subject let's include the date in the subject so we'll just say um, morning link space and then the date we'll do format date um, we'll do mm dash day day dash year 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 and then we want to display the message and then we're gonna have HTML body equals str body up here and dot HTML body okay and then we're going to end our width on error go to zero oops and then we're going to set out app or out mail equal to nothing and out app equal to nothing all right so let's go ahead and run this so you see We've got a message sent to abc at 123.com, me at me.com, cc'd. The subject is morning link with today's date. And it says, hello team, please see the link for today here. And best regards, Greg. Only problem is if you highlight over here, you see how it says Excel? It's only getting the first part of the file name. So what you have to do to, to it's because of the space. So what you have to do to get around the space is, um back here at link the variable link we're going to do replace at the beginning with an open parentheses and then we're going to do comma space so if we include two quotations with a space in between we're going to replace the space with a percentage 20 and that is a space that's equivalent to a space in html and this will allow the HTML to work with the space. So let's go ahead and run it again. We've got the same thing, right? But now when we hover over here, we've got the whole file name. Pretty cool, right? So just a quick, just to quickly show you how it looks. So if I do a message box and then put link here, we can see that the file name looks like this. We convert it to Excel parenthesis or Excel percentage 20 file, uh, 20 file percentage 20 and then the date just like right here. So and then once it gets converted to HTML, you see the regular spaces. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Um thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.